Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another quest guide. Today we're doing the quest Client of Kren, which is a brand new quest added to Old School today. It's not too hard of a quest to get done, but the rewards are very nice, especially if you haven't gotten any Zaya favor yet, or if you're sort of just waiting to get Zaya favor, but you don't want to get it because it's slow. This will uh, help a lot. We'll put it like that. Anyways, all you need for this quest is a feather. That's the only item that you really need, but there are some recommended items though that will help you out a lot. That being stamina potions and then weight reducing gear, so full graceful would be very helpful. And also any teleports that can help you get around Zaya faster, such as the Xerix Talisman or the Karen teleport on the normal spellbook. I have these runes in my inventory to spellbook swap to the normal spellbook, or you can just use the home teleport in the Archaea spellbook. In this quest, you need to visit the different houses general stores, so if you guys have teleports to get to those places faster, make sure you guys bring them along. If you don't, just bring stamina potions or some sort of energy saving potions and weight reducing gear, and you'll be just fine. To start this quest, you guys need to speak to Veos, who is on the docks of Zaya. Now, the fastest way to get to him is just travel with Veos from Port Serum over to Zaya. The fastest way to get to him here is a pest control teleport, and then get off the island and run over to him here. Or you guys can use the Rat Pits minigame teleport if you have that unlocked. And if you don't have either of those, just use a Amulet of the Glory to teleport you to Drainer. And then run over to here in Port Serum. You guys can also use the Cabbage Ring teleport. There's many different ways to get here. Just find your way over to Veos, who is on the docks of Zaya. And once you're here, just travel with him. Select a Great Karen, and you guys will be on your way to Zaya. Once you guys get here, just go ahead and cross the plank to get across, and Veos will be right here. So go ahead and talk to him, and we're going to start off this quest. Hey, Soup, what can I do for you? Have you got any quests for me? As a matter of fact, I probably do. There you go, man. All right, I think I can retrieve this client knowledge for you. Sounds interesting. How can I help? He hands us an enchanted scroll. Take the scroll. Just go ahead and read through the options if you want, or just skip through them. Alright, and now once we have the feather, you guys need to use it on the enchanted scroll that he gave you. So use your feather on the scroll, and you guys will get an enchanted quill. So from this point, you guys need to go to every single general store that is in Zaya. The only one that is a bit different is the Shazen general store, since there isn't exactly a general store in the Shazen area. So you guys need to go to the house that has the shield and sword in it. It's right above the combat ring. I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Anyways, all you guys have to do now is just check your quest log to make sure that you guys actually started the quest. And you guys can see that there are five different places you have to go to in each different house. So at this point, you guys just want to run to each general store. I'm going to start with the one that is on the dock of Piscarillus. So from here, we're just going to head upwards north to the general store. I'm going to leave you guys a map on screen as well as a map in the description to let you guys know where every single house is that you need to visit. Once you guys are at the general store, go ahead and speak to the owner. In this case, it's Leans. And all you need to ask her is about the house itself. So down here, you can see there's a, can I ask you about the Piscarillus house? Click on that. And then you guys can see that there are different options that you can ask her. So you can go ahead and go ask her the options if you want. And as you can see, the more questions that you ask her, the more you learn about the house itself. And once you get to this option where you say, thanks for helping me out, just go ahead and check your client of Karen quest log. And you can see that you spoke with, in this case, Leans of the Piscarillus house. So once you've asked her the correct questions, she will go ahead and tell you all you need to know. And then you can knock it off of your quest log. The next house we're going to visit is the Archaeus house. So it is just across the river right here. You guys can see there's actually a bridge that goes across it, so from here, we're just going to run southwest across this bridge, and then run north up to the general store in Arceus. It was not even that long of a run, so we're just going to head over that way. Once you guys are here, you're going to speak to Regath, who's the general store owner in Arceus. The only thing about this one is that you're going to hurt your hand when writing. It doesn't happen in any other house, just with this guy, I don't know why, some lore stuff. But anyways, talk to him, ask him what I can ask you about the Arceus house. You're going to see you have those same questions again. And then go ahead and ask him the questions. And there you can see when you tried it writing, it hurt your hand. You don't know why you heard it, but <laughs> cool stuff. Anyways, once you get that option where you say thank you, then you can see that it should be knocked off on your quest log. So there is another one out of the way. 
The next place we're gonna go to is the Lovakenj general store, which is just this fiery area. We're gonna use the Xerix Talisman to get us to the Xerix Inferno, which should teleport us right here. And the general store is in the southeastern region of Lovakenj down here. So find your way over here, however you want. I will be using the Xerix Talisman to get there just by going to the Xerix Inferno, as I said. And then we're gonna run our way down there. When you guys get here, speak to Munty. Ask him about the Lovakenj house. And then ask him the same questions like you already have. And here we go. We finished that one. Check your quest log again just to make sure you're done. And now we have two more. So now we're going to go to the Shazen house. If you guys go over to the Shazen area, you're going to have to go to this one right here with the shield and the sword above it. To get there, you guys can run if you want. But we're going to use the top teleport, Xerox Lookout. That'll bring us to the Shazen area. And from here, we just have to run straight up to the 10. You can see it's not that far of a run. Once you get here, speak to Jennifer. And then ask her about the Shazen house and continue with the same questions. And there we go. The second to last one is finished. Let's check our quest log. And you can see that this one is also now finished. So the last one we're going to go to is the Hasidious house. Now you guys can use the Xerox Glade teleport if you want. However, I think it's faster just to run from here over to this general store just by going across the bridge. Pretty much just, it's a straight shot east so go across this bridge and the general store is right here next to all these titty farms that are in the, in the area so we're just going to run that way and go to the general store all right now we're going to speak to horus in the hasidious house clever and then ask him the same questions and here we go we have finally finished talking to all the general store owners and your quest log should now have all of this checked off, and now we need to go back to Veas, who is on the same docks in Zaya. Make your way back to Veas, however you guys want. I'm going to be going to the bank that is just southwest of the guy you just talked to, and I'll be using a pest control teleport to bring me back to the docks. Alright, once you're back to him, go ahead and talk to him, and tell him that you finished. He takes the items off our hand, and now we have to make our way over to the dark altar. The final thing in the quest we need to do is just bring the orb to that dark altar. So the dark altar is obviously where you change yourself or you change to the necromancy spellbook. It's just right here. There's multiple ways to get there. You guys can use the fairy ring and then run east. But in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and spellbook swap to the Arceus spellbook and then just home teleport to Arceus. Either way, just make sure you guys find your way up here. So once you guys have got to this area, just run east over here to the dark altar. And once you're in range of the dark altar, you're going to use this mysterious orb and go ahead and activate it. The orb shatters. Return to Veas. That was easy. We now got some broken glass. And then finally, we're going to return to Veas. And this should finish off the quest. So however you guys want, go ahead and teleport your way out of here. And then find your way back to Veas, who you guys have already visited a couple times during this quest. So here he is. Let's speak to him again. Let's talk about your client. I did it, man. I did it. Arg. Arganoog. <laughs> Plot twist, this guy's evil. Who would have known? <laughs> Man, Veil's client. The deed is done. Oh, God. Anyways, there we go, guys. Quest complete. One quest point up to 20% favor in the Pisca release house, which is awesome because it's the only one I don't have. Fantastic. And you also get some XP lamps or antique lamps. And you can use them however you guys would like. There we go. Uh, so yeah, choose whatever stat you guys want. In this case, I don't know what I'm going to use it on, but there we go. That's actually really cool. You will also gain double favor in all houses now, which is going to be very useful for you guys who don't have these favors yet and want to get them up. But that's it, guys. Quest complete. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you guys like, make sure to drop a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys next time for the next video. Peace. Wow.